Samsung Wallet is Samsung's official wallet. How to use it? In this video, we'll explore that. So, let's get started. The app should be installed on your Samsung device. Open it. Tap continue and then allow the notifications. We must sign in with our Samsung account. I'll do that quickly. We can use our biometrics to unlock Samsung Wallet. If not, you can tap here to create a PIN. Even if you use biometrics, you must create a PIN on the next screen. Great! This is the main interface. To add a payment card, tap this Add button or tap this All button to see all the supported options. We can also tap the top plus icon to add a card. Samsung Wallet supports three ways to add a card. The first is taking a photo of the card. The app will get the details automatically. The second is just to tap the card on the back of your phone. If the card supports tap to pay, Samsung Wallet will get the details. The last option is adding the details manually. I will put in all the required information including my name and then the CVV number. Some cards require you to fill in the address to continue. Allow the location permission. The next will be the terms of service screen. Read this and tap agree at the bottom. Then is the verification screen. Depending on the card type and your bank, you will see the verification methods. For this card, we only have the SMS code option. Also, you see this number? This number comes from your bank or the card issuer. This is not your Samsung account number. So if you see your old number here, contact your bank to update it. I will get a code to put in. Tap submit at the bottom. The card has been added. We can see that the default transport card option is checked. We'll talk about that soon. I'll quickly add another card. For this card, I have to fill in my billing address. And it has two verification methods. When you have multiple cards, you can swipe left and right to choose between them. Once a card is added, if you open it, you will see two card numbers. One is the original number and the other is a digital number that Samsung gives to protect your privacy. You will see that number on the receipts as well. Now we'll see how to use Samsung Wallet. Open the app. Make sure that the amount is displayed on the contactless terminal. It will be something like this. Choose your card and then put in your pin or fingerprint. You will notice a timer screen. Now the app is ready. Just tap your phone against the terminal like this. You will hear a beep and see this check mark when the payment goes through. Once completed, you will see the approved message on the screen. We have successfully paid using Samsung Wallet. The app also records your previous transactions. Tap a card and see the payments. We can tap on it further to see and share this information. To make a card the default, open it and tap default payment card. Now you'll see this card every time you open Samsung Wallet. To delete a card, tap those three dots. You will notice the delete option. The app has a quick row at the bottom of the lock screen and main screen. Just swipe up from here and then put in your pin or fingerprints to use it. However, I like to keep this disabled because sometimes when I unlock my phone, it automatically opens. Samsung Wallet now supports adding many other things. Depending on your location, you'll find the options here. For example, I can add a loyalty card by tapping this plus icon. Then choose how you want to add it. I will just put in the details. Then I can use this card from the quick access screen by tapping loyalty cards and then choosing it. Recently, Samsung also added Samsung Pass to Wallet. So we can access all of our saved passwords from here. You will need to sign in with your Samsung account for the first time. Then use your fingerprints to see, copy and edit passwords. Alright, we can set a card as the transport card. If your transport service supports card payments, you can make a card your default card and use it without opening the app. To use it, tap the phone against the terminal. So this was using Samsung Wallet. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other tutorials. See you next time. Take care.